What is up everyone, this is El Pearl's Garage and in today's video we're going to make a quick tutorial on how to reset the check engine light for a piece, uh, for the DTC P1336 so that usually means that uh, the engine requires a crank position relearn and I'll show you what that is right here I think it was a P1336 let's see the PCM, that one yeah, 1336, and that's usually means that you need to do a uh, crank position relearn. This happens when you reset the ECM, or reprogram it, I should say, or if you replace the crank position sensor. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I got the old Dell fired up right here, and we're going to show you how to do that real quick with the uh, tech to win using a VX Diag. Um, for GM, this is the J2534 scan tool you can get on Amazon for like 150 bucks. Uh, it's plugged into my PC right now, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to do a crank position relearn. So, you go to Tech to Win, North American, and then you push MDI. We're going to forego all the setup today just because that's not important, and also I'll make a video about that eventually. So, let's just uh, get on with it here. Let's see. This should be ready to go, right? There we go. So we're going to go to Diagnostics. And then we're going to select 2002. Because it's a 2002. Passenger car. Powertrain. And then because this is a DeVille uh, DHS. It's going to be the LD8 Northstar. If you have uh, a DTS DeVille. Uh, you're going to select L37. But this is LD8. So let's go with that. And we're gonna well let's let me just prove to you that this is a, a problem right now. Come on. You can do it. We there we go. Crank position system variation not learned. So P1336. Let's let's show you how to fix that today with uh tech to win here. And let's go back. When we're at this display right here, the powertrain, we're going to go ahead and go to function 2, special functions here. And you're going to go to crank position variation learn. And then, because we have a V8, it's the cutoff is 4000 RPM. If you have a V6, it's 5150. Four banger, it's a 3970. So that's, that's good to know. Anyway, push enter. Engine to the not, yeah, whatever. Blood drive wheel set parking brake. Do not apply brake pedal. And then we're going to go ahead and cycle the ignition on and then off again. And then push enter. Press and hold. And start the engine. So we should be able to do that. Checking 24x crank signal. Test in progress. So yeah, I just revved it to 4,000 RPM. You probably heard it there. Learn this ignition. So we're just gonna click exit. And that's all there is to it. It's really freaking easy. It just tells you to floor it. And then once it the, the fuel cutoff happens, you just let go. That's it. That's literally it. So just to prove it, actually wrong thing. To prove it, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear that DTC and it will not come back, so. DTC information. Uh, okay. So actually, so it's still there. Let's see. And we're gonna go. How do you race? Clear DTC. There we go. Yeah. Or yes. All right. Cool. And that's it. And as you can see, the check engine light is off. And then I'm going to prove it by turning it, taking out the key. We're going to turn it back on again. Ah, crap. There we go. And it's gone. There's no check engine light. The airbag light is on because the seat tensioner is uh, kind of messed up. But anyways, that's basically it. 
that's how you uh, do a crank position relearn on a Cadillac DeVille or many other G old GM products. Anyways, thank hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Peace.